Hello preschool families, I'm G Set with Butterfly Garden Preschool and today we're going to be talking about the importance of washing our hands and keeping our hands clean. I'd like to start by teaching you a song. It's my hand washing song and it goes like this. Wash, wash, wash your hands, do the handy game. Rub and scrub and scrub and rub, germs go down the drain. Will you guys sing along with me? Wash, wash, wash your hands, do the handy game. Rub and scrub and scrub and rub, germs go down the drain. So we need to wash our hands on a regular basis, especially before we eat and after we eat and after we come in from playing. I even make my little kiddos wash their hands before they enter the school because we want to keep the germs and the microbes that are not healthy for our bodies out of our bodies. It's the same reason why I tell my, my cuties not to put their fingers in their mouth or fingers up their nose or rub their eyes because you could get bad bacteria or viruses that, that will enter your body that way and then make you sick. And nobody likes to feel sick. So we are trying to keep the viruses and the bacterias out of our body. And they don't look this big. You don't see them, but they're on your hands all the time. They're very little and without a microscope, um, you cannot see them just with your eyes. So that's why we have these models. Scientists use microscopes to look at these underneath, you know, under the microscope to figure out what bacteria or virus you may have when you're sick. So I want to start by introducing you to this. This is our little cold virus and we've all had colds before and colds cause us to do this. Achoo! Achoo! And <coughs> but when we sneeze and when we cough, should we just <coughs> cough out and just give all of our germs from our mouth and from our nose to our friends? No, we should use our elbow if we're gonna cough <coughs> or sneeze. Hachoo! Because if we use our hands, then we cough into our hands and touch our friend or the swings or our toys, and then all those little germs that you don't see, all these little microbes will be on the toy. And then the next child that touches the toy or the swing will get your germs. So we wanna keep our hands out of our noses and our mouths, and we wanna keep our sneezes and our coughs covered by our elbow, because rarely do you ever touch people with your elbow, right? So that's a good place to, to cough and sneeze. We, when you have a cold, sometimes you have mucus that comes out. And mucus is a good thing because it's protecting your body and trying to get rid of the microbes from entering, more microbes entering in through your nose. But we don't want to pick our mucus, or some of you may call them boogers. We also, if we have a drippy nose and mucus is dripping out of your nose, you also don't want to go or right? We want to use a what? That's right, we want to use a Kleenex. So you blow into your Kleenex or your tissue, you throw it in the garbage, and then we wash our hands, right? And we sing our song and make sure all those germs go down the drain before we go back to playing or, or hugging on our friends. Another thing that happens when you have a cold virus is <coughs> coughing. And we want to keep this germ away. We don't want to get our parents or our sisters or brothers or grandparents or friends sick. So we cover our cough like we talked about with our elbow. Okay, if you accidentally cough in your hand, that's okay. What do we need to do? We just need to wash our hands. All right. Now, sometimes along with the cold virus, you will get a scratchy or itchy throat. And again, if you have a sore throat or any of these symptoms, you should stay home and rest. Take your vitamin C, drink your orange juice, drink lots of water, stay home and rest because that's how your body gets stronger. So your body naturally will fight these germs. 
and you don't want to spread the germs to your friends. So you should stay home from school a couple days, rest up, and feel better. Now, those were all symptoms of a cold. Next, we're going to talk about the norovirus, which is a virus that many of you may have had before, probably have. This causes you to throw up or vomit and sometimes have diarrhea. So if you are vomiting, that's your body's way also of protecting you and trying to get um, whatever is not agreeing in your system out. So sometimes norovirus likes to live on um, like leafy green veggies. Um, so if you get the norovirus from eating something, you will probably throw up, you will probably have a bit of diarrhea, but your body is just trying to purge it so that you can feel better. And again, you should stay home because you want to rest and drink lots of water and feel better um, and not spread those germs. And then there's also something called the flu. And some of you may get your flu shots every year. Um, and some of you may have had the flu. So the flu gives you a uh, fever, it gives you chills, you get cold, you get hot, um, you feel kind of, your muscles feel kind of achy. Um, you should definitely stay home when you have the flu because um, you could pass it on to your friends and you don't want to get anybody sick. So I want to just thank giant microbes who make these plushies and um, they're so age appropriate to teach our preschoolers. Um, so thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll link to giant microbes in, um, in the YouTube um, sure. section. Yeah. And um, so that way you can, if you'd like to check them out, you can see the coronavirus behind us, which is what we're going to talk about next. Uh, giant microbes is going to make this coronavirus and we are certainly going to buy it as soon as, as we can. Um, so kiddos, you maybe have heard your parents talking about the coronavirus. You may have heard it on the news, the radio. Um, it's why we are all home and why I am teaching you from a computer screen instead of in, you know, live with you at preschool. Um, it is highly contagious, which means you can, you can give it, you can give the germs from one person to the next really easily. And so we're all just staying home to make sure that we keep each other healthy and safe. I have a little story um, that a woman named Manuela from mindheart.com, and I'll also have a link to her site. She wrote this wonderful book um, that is so age appropriate for preschoolers and even kindergarten and first, second graders. So I'm gonna read it to you and um, then suggest a little activity for you. Let me scroll up to the top. One second while I share my screen with you. Hello, I am a virus, cousins with the flu and the common cold. My name is coronavirus. I love to travel. And here's the coronavirus coming to earth. And to jump from hand to hand to say hi, high five. But we don't want this, that's why we're washing our hands. Have you heard about me? Yes or no? And how do you feel when you hear my name? Do you feel relaxed, confused, worried, curious, nervous, or sad? There's no right or wrong answer. However you feel is okay. I can understand how you feel. And I'd love for you to draw a picture of how you feel right now. And you can talk about it um, with your mom and dad. And then if you'd like to send me your picture, you can send it at GSA at Butterfly Garden Preschool. I'd love to see how you're feeling about the coronavirus. Sometimes adults get worried when they read the news or see me on TV. That's me. But I'm going to my explain myself. So the coronavirus is also called COVID-19. They use both terms. 
So I'm going to explain myself so you can understand. When I come to visit, I bring difficulty breathing, fever, and cough. But I don't stay with people for long, and almost everyone gets better. Does anybody know what part, what organs these are? These are your lungs. So you do get better, just like when you get a scrape on your knee and then it heals, your lungs will heal and the virus will go away, bye-bye. Don't worry, the adults who take care of you will keep you safe. And you can help by washing your hands with soap and water while singing a song. And today you've all learned the washing your hands song, but you can also sing your favorite song or a happy birthday song or the ABC song. Another way to keep safe from the coronavirus or any virus is by using hand sanitizer and letting it dry on your hands. So it, what you do is you squirt it on your hands, you rub it all over, just like you're washing your hands with a sanitizer, and then you hold your hands up without moving them and you count to 10. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once your hands are dry, you can get back to playing or eating or whatever activity you were doing. If you do all of this, I will not come to visit. While the doctors are working hard to find a vaccine, that will allow me to say I hi without getting you sick. And that's the end. Thank you, Manuela at mindheart.com. So that's the end of our lesson for today. Again, I want to thank I Know Science for their models and Manuela for her wonderful age appropriate book and Giant Microbes for their plushies. Feel free to email, text, or um, yeah, just email or text if you have any questions. Um, and I would love for you to send me your drawings. Thank you.